This poem is called Adolescence by Larry Levis. It's from his collection of poetry called Winter's, Winter Stars. Our babysitter lives across from the Dodge Street Cemetery, and behind her broad, untroubled face, her sons play touch football all afternoon, among the graves of clerks and Norwegian settlers. At night, these huge trees rooted in such quiet, arch over the tombstones as if in exultation, as if they inhaled starlight. Their limbs reach toward each other and their roots must touch the dead. When I was 15, there was a girl who loved me, whom I did not love, and she died that year of spinal meningitis. By then she had already left home and was working in a carnival, one of those booths where you are supposed to toss a dime onto a small dish. Finally, in Laredo, Texas, someone anonymous and too late brought her a bus ticket back home. Her father, a gambler and horse dealer, wept openly the day she was buried. I remember looking off in embarrassment at the woods behind his house. The woods were gray, vagrant, the color of smoke or sky. I remember thinking then that if I had loved her or even slept with her once, she might still be alive. And if, instead, we had gone away together on two bay horses that farted when they began to gallop, graze at their leisure on small tufts of spring grass in those woods, and if the disintegrating print of the ferns had been a lullaby there against the dry stones and the trunks of fallen trees, then maybe nothing would have happened. There are times hiking with my wife past abandoned orchards of freckled apples and patches of sunlight in New Hampshire, or holding her closely against me at night until she sleeps, when nothing else matters, when the trees shine without meaning more than they are, in moonlight, and when it seems possible to disappear wholly into someone else, as into a wish on a birthday, the candles trembling. Maybe nothing would have happened, but I heard that her father died a year later in a Sierra lumber camp. He had been drinking steadily all week, and he was dealing cards when the muscle of his own heart kicked him back into his chair so hard its wood snapped. He must have thought there was something suddenly very young inside his body, if he had time to think. And if death is an adolescent, closing his eyes to the music on the radio of that passing car... I think he does not know his own strength. If I stand here long enough in this stillness, I can feel his silence involve, somehow, the silence of these trees, the sky, the little squawking toy my son lost when it slipped into the river today. Today, I am 34 years old. I know that horse dealer with a limp loved his plain and crazy daughter. I know also that it did no good. Soon the snows will come again and cover that place where he sat at a wobbling card table underneath a ponderosa pine and cover even the three cards dropped there, three silent diamonds, and cover everything in the Sierras and make my meaning plain.